I thought these things were real stiff and I thought they were going to be difficult to put in, but they are super easy to put in and uh, tighten down. They move freely in the cow's nose. We're just, jury's out, but we're going to see how they do. Most of our calves are six months old. We got a couple that are five. We got one, I think, that's seven. But the majority of them are six months old and we're going to wean those. We've weaned a whole bunch of different ways. Back when we first started, we would put the calves on one end of the farm, we'd put the mamas on the other end of the farm and just let them moo it out. And that's stressful on everybody and, um, and probably not the best way to do it. It's the only way we knew it was the, kind of the understood way back in the day. Um, last few years, we have line weaned. We put the calves on one side of a pasture, mamas on the other, and we've got a cross fence. And they can go back and forth and look at one another and smell one another. If you've got a good strong cross fence, that works really good. We did have one um, calf that kept breaking back into its mama. And so you have that happen when you line wean. So we're trying something new. We've seen a couple of different farms use these, but these are wean rings. And so these um, ends right here go up in the cow's nose and then we tighten it down with this little wing nut and these little pointy plastic things will bump into the mama's udders when the calf tries to nurse. Um, we've read a whole bunch of research and we've talked to some other farmers that have used these and apparently it's a lot less stressful on the mama cows and the calves. And so we're gonna try them, we're gonna see how they do. Um, we got 12 that we're gonna put in. They're not terribly expensive. I think they were $3 a piece with shipping and everything. We got less than $4 in them. So uh, we're going to give them a shot, see how it goes. Y'all stick with us. We're going to work some cows today. So a little time-lapse footage of us working cows. Dylan and Nathan are in the corral. And from our last time-lapse video, you can see we've made some major improvements to the corral. We essentially made the alley uh, 12 feet longer. We moved the bud box back. Uh, we removed all the old pig panels and pig pins and actually made cow panel pins. We've added three different gates for sorting and it works out a whole lot better. So Dylan and Nathan are back in the corral sorting and working the cows down the alley. And you see them come in there to the holding area. They're going to move those cows into the bud box down the alley toward the cue catch. Dylan and Nathan have been working cows all of their teenage years. And so, you know, you just have to let them do uh, what they know how to do. You notice we use flags to work cows and not hot shots, and we're using these gates uh, to move them back and forth as we need them to. So, so far, I thought these things were real stiff, and I thought they were going to be difficult to put in, but they are super easy to put in and uh, tighten down. They move freely in the cow's nose. We're just, jury's out, but we're going to see how they do. So this clip is a good example of the benefits of having gates on all four sides of your corral. You'll see the boys sort out this big black mama cow right here and get her out of their way to make it easier to work these calves. If these cows were bigger, we would line them up in the alley three or four deep, but they're so small they can turn around in our alley and it creates more headache and more work just to send them one at a time. Thing 
just slide in and I'm tightening them down and it can move. Okay, that's not bad. So from start to finish, it took us an hour and five minutes to put 12 wean rings in calves. We changed out uh, three ear tags, um, freshened up three ear tags. We treated one calf for a parasitic issue. We treated one calf for pink eye. And we did all that in an hour and five minutes. Um, you see right here, we had a discussion about this. Do we want to move all the mama cows in? We had five calves left to finish at this point, and they were all bunched up with the mama cows. And so the boys moved all the mamas in and then separated out the mamas and the calves. If we had had a separate pen down here by the barn, this would have probably went a little bit smoother, a little bit easier. But we did the whole process in an hour and five minutes, so it wasn't like it was a big ordeal anyway. Having a corral that allows you to work your animals safely and efficiently is a, is a huge benefit. Having said that, one thing that our corral lacks is the ability to move mamas out and keep calves in. The mamas have access back to the front of the corral by the cue catch. So if we had turned all the mamas out, they would have come right around to the front where we were, and that's not necessarily a safe situation. So we left all the mamas in the holding area while we worked the calves and then turned the calves in, and you can see them playing around in the background back there behind the corral. These last four or five that we have in the corral are mama cows, first calf heifers, and a duplicate tag heifer and so we run these through there just to update some ear tags and change out an ear tag and so it worked out pretty good uh, to do them right at the very end and and then wrap it up and turn everybody else out all right so we put the wean rings in we did some ear tags we did some fly tags we treated um, for pink eye and um, we're gonna turn the rest of them out. We're fixing to move them all the way across the farm to some greener pasture. And that's why we want to do this today because that's this is where the corral is. And so once they go all the way across the farm, it's just a bear to get them all the way back over here. So there you go. 
And we figured it out. Cows are creatures of habit. I squatted down the video right here and notice how those two reacted. They just completely locked up. Come on. Come on. So we rely on Sunrise to be our lead cow. And when it came time to move these cows, she moved in the opposite direction to the wrong gate. And of course, she took about half the cows with her. So you hear me get on to her right here, letting her know that she needed to do better. Sunrise, we are disappointed in your efforts here. My gracious. All right. access to the pasture that's right here by the feed barn all the way out to the dirt road 